Oh, yes, Samzanzi, welcome back. It's your feel-good breakfast show, of course, doing something absolutely special this morning, celebrating health and also our planet's health too. Now, of course, it being Tuesday morning, it's Tuesday, and we're choosing to spend it with you and, of course, carry on with our focus on the planet. Now, from forests and grasslands to rivers and oceans, the health and diversity of Earth's ecosystem is at the basis of human prosperity and well-being. Now, this morning, we are joined by Michiel Grobler and Jesse Levesensi, who are from Green Pop. Yes! Yes, you can see how excited I am. Now, it's a social enterprise on a mission to reconnect people with the planet, more specifically, to get people involved in forest restoration. And let me say good morning to the both of you. How are you doing this morning? Doing really well. So happy to be here. Yeah, Thank man, this is, this is huge. This is big. I was involved in this last year. But let's just get straight into it, because not a lot of people actually know what's happening, what Green Pop is about. And I know you, you, you kind of started this whole thing with this goal of a thousand trees in one month. That was kind of like this, like, sub... Uh, tense of what was going to happen. What happened in the beginning? How did that go? And, and where are you at now? Because things have changed. Things have been amazing, right? Yeah. Thank you. Firstly, just thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, yeah. So, um, our, our, uh, our Green Pop started back uh, in 2010 when yeah. our co founders, Misha and Lauren Teasel and Jeremy Hewitt, who most people will know as Jeremy Loops, they came together with a group of friends um, over dinner and they just kind of had this idea to plant a thousand trees in one month. And that's exactly what they did. They, uh, uh, in September of 2010, so part of Arbor Month, yeah. they planted a thousand trees in undergreen. Um, communities in Cape Town and kind of things really grew from there and as they say the rest is history and we've now got four programs so we've got our urban greening program where we plant locally indigenous fainbos and undergreen communities in Cape Town we've got environmental awareness um, We've also got a food security program and then forest restoration, which is kind of the full circle one with the tree planting. It's almost like something that I think everybody needs to get educated on. This is like such important information. Yes. Mikhil, maybe I can speak to you about uh, your focus being on re restoration, right? And especially when it comes to our forests, the, the, the place that makes us breathe and allows the earth to breathe as well. What's happening with our forest in South Africa? And maybe I think you work in sub-Saharan Africa as well. What's the status of our forests like at the moment? What's happening there? So look, forests in sub-Saharan Saharan Africa are really critical for not only the animals and the plants that live in there, yeah. but also for the people, right? 70% yeah. of sub-Saharan Africa depend on forests or woodlands oh, wow. for their livelihoods, right? Okay. Um, a lot of countries within Africa also, large parts of their GDP comes from these forest products. Yeah. Um, and as we know, like, well, 25% of the remaining rainforests are actually located on the African continent. So this is such a critical space for us and such a critical e ecosystem uh, to maintain and to restore. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, uh, unfortunately, between 2010 and 2020, we've lost an estimated about 5.5 million hectares of forest. Wow. Now you can imagine the impact not only on biodiversity, but on the people dependent on yeah. these places. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of good movement into, into uh, restoration movements growing. We're in the U UN decade of ecosystem restoration. And um, so there's a lot of work coming towards not only just protecting our forests, but restoring them where they've been degraded. Yeah, well, look, that sounds promising, and that's something I maybe want to focus on right now because it does seem like we are moving forward. We're growing. Yeah. There is some success out of this. I mean, taking it back from what you said, 2010 or 2011, yes. uh, from those thousand trees being planted to where we are now at 2023. What's that impact been like mm -hmm. since then? Like, where have we got into so far? You mentioned some great work uh, in sub-Saharan Africa, but what's the status currently at, like, in terms of that impact? So our impact, we try and, you know, not only focus just on the ecological aspect of our impacts, which is at, a, at its core, you know, the main focus, um, but it also is about the people. It's about the communities dependent yeah. on these ecosystems and also trying to find sustainable alternative livelihoods for them. Um, so many of them are, as mentioned, dependent on these forest products for, for surviving. And so we can't expect to just tell them to stop. You know, we have to offer alternatives and we have to support them to take ownership of their forests and also, you know, work towards protecting it and utilizing it. Um, the impact so far, I mean, since 2010, we're now standing on a, just over 200,000 trees planted. Um, and we're very proud of that. Um, but, you know, the impacts are more far reaching than that. Uh, ecologically, it takes a lot more time. Um, but we've seen these, these positive impacts on biodiversity, on soil health, as well as the communities that we've been able to work with. Oh, absolutely love it. And Zanzi, don't go anywhere. This conversation is going to continue right now. We're talking about restoring all the beauty of our earth. We're also going to be discussing how you, Zanzi, can get involved and do your bit to kind of beautify and uh, restore the magic that we have in this country. For now, though, it's time to head back to the kitchen, fill up those bellies and do something special. Ice cream! <laughs> it's my feel-good breakfast show. Yes, 
Jason Zazi. Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Tuesday, otherwise known as Tuesday, and we choose to spend it with you. And that means not only focusing on health, but also the health of our planet. Now, we went from forests and grasslands to rivers and oceans, and of course, the health and diversity of Earth's ecosystems are the basis of human prosperity and well-being. Now, we've got two special souls right now, Michiel Grobler, as well as Jesse Levesensi, who is all from the way from Green Pop, and they're here to chat about the reforestation project, as well as Reforest Fest, something exciting to talk about. Now, guys, earlier in this conversation, we were obviously chatting about forestation, where we are at when it comes to our forest. What if I can draw some sort of highlight on the trajectory of whether, where we would be if, let's say, forest continue to decrease? Like, what would actually happen if we continued with that tra tra trajectory? <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that there's a lot of degradation happening yeah. in our ecosystems across the planet. And those are about for various reasons. But at its core, the most important thing forests do for us is produce oxygen, capture that carbon. And carbon is a big conversation piece um, at this stage within the corporate space, but also in the ecological space. And um, carbon is one of the biggest things, you know, reducing greenhouse gases and um, ultimately reducing the impact of climate change. So that's a service that we don't have the machines to, to properly replace those forests with, right? Um, if we're speaking about the urban environment, it becomes much more critical. Um, these this, the spaces we find in the, in the urban space um, are really limited in how much indigenous species we have there because our exotic species are a little bit easier to thrive mm. and they're more adapted to you know, a harder life. But they actually serve as such an important role, not only reducing urban temperatures like we have in the summertime here in Cape Town. You know how hot the city can get. And those trees do such hard work to actually reduce those temperatures. Mm -hmm. They also offer such valuable um, habitat for so many species of insects, so many species of birds that travel all the way from Lion's Head and uh, Table Mountain all the way to the Burland Mountains there at oh, Stellenbosch. Wow. So they offer these pockets of safety. Yeah. Um, every garden, every tree, every piece of green offers this, this additional kind of um, benefit towards our ecology. Um, unfortunately, if we keep losing forest, we'll, due to alien invasive species invasions or due to mismanagement of forests, um, we'll see, first of all, more carbon related into the atmosphere, mm -hmm. um, which will, of course, exacerbate the impacts of climate change. Um, we'll also see soil degradation. We'll also see impacts on our communities. We know how important greenery as well as um, some green spaces are yeah. for our mental health. Yeah for children and for people to be able to engage in that. And mm. losses of our urban um, environment is literally at the core of our health as humans. Yeah, man. Look, I, I can't see a, a bigger reason to get involved and change this. Before we talk about how we can get involved, there's also a great opportunity for us to celebrate and bring awareness to this occasion, right? And you guys are doing something incredible. Obviously, with uh, Jeremy Loops, who was the founder of Green Pop, as well, one of the co-founders you mentioned earlier. But uh, Reforest Fest 2023, is this building on from the magic that happened in previous festivals? What can we expect? What's happening? What is it all about? Jesse, maybe you can tell us more. Yes, awesome. Yeah, so so our uh, our reforest fest is our annual reforestation festival. Okay. So this year it's happening over the Easter weekend. Nice. So from the the seventh to the tenth of April at Bodhikai Nature Retreat. It's this absolutely beautiful location located just outside of Hans Bay. And this year we are aiming to plant five thousand trees in one day. Oh wow! So so people come through for the tree planting, but then of course because it's happening over Easter weekend, uh, it's going to be all about family and bringing your loved ones along and really parting for the planet. So so some of the things that people can look forward to um this year for the first time we've got a dedicated kid space so you can bring your little ones along we're going to have some really fun uh, activities for them from arts and crafts and these dedicated Lecker. facilities uh, facilitators and caretakers to look after your kids um, and of course who doesn't love good food so we've got honest chocolate coming to do a wine and chocolate pairing um, and then we've also got an easter sunday harvest feast which will be prepared by chef so you get your picnic basket you can go and enjoy the surrounds at bodhikaya and just really bask in the natural beauty um, and then, of course, we've got some talks and workshops, and the party doesn't stop there. We've got live music, local DJs, nice. so people can look forward to Jeremy Loops, who will be performing live. Oh, um, awesome. And we're really looking forward to having him back at the festival. A full-on well. festival, a reason to celebrate the beauty yes. of our country. And, of course, you and Zanzi, you need to get involved in this. So much magic. We're talking about Reforest Fest, so get your tickets right now. And uh, for anybody else there that is wanting to get involved in this project, involved in anything with regards to Green Pop, where can they find you? Where do they get involved? Awesome. 
Awesome. So we are actually on all the socials. So you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, um, and LinkedIn and Twitter and everything else. Uh, people can also go to our website, so greenpop.org, um, and then they can get all the information there. But there's various ways that people can get involved. From uh, volunteering, you can bring your company along for planting day. Um, and yeah, there's, there's so many ways. So we're really keen. I mean, something we always say at Green Pop is that it's not about the number of trees, but the number of hands that are planted that are planted, the number of hands that get involved yeah. with the work. Um, so we're really keen to get people involved. So uh, greenpop.org. Akhil and Jesse, thank you so much. You, Mzanzi, what more to do other than get involved? <laughs>